Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm gonna to show you the most delicious, easiest recipe, cauliflower fried rice. Now I'm telling you, this recipe is gonna become your new best friend because it's super quick to make. It's perfect for busy weeknights, and essentially, it is a big pan of vegetables, but nobody needs to know. So the first thing I like to do is get my pan preheating over a medium, low heat. I'm just gonna use this one pan to make the whole dish so it's a one pan meal. And what I'm using is a 13 inch non-stick saute pan. Um, this is definitely one of my top 10 kitchen essentials. If you guys are in the market for one, I will link to it down in the description box below. Now, in case you didn't know, when it comes to your nonstick pans, you do not want to use the aerosol spray. I have been guilty of doing this, but it does ruin the nonstick pan. So I love using this. It's just a spray bottle with olive oil in it. And I'm just going to spray it on my pan. So I have a nice light coating. You can even wipe it with a little bit of um, a paper towel to spread it out. Now, I'm gonna scramble up some eggs. You could do all egg whites, you could do all eggs. I'm doing a combo, so I have about three quarters of a cup of egg whites and one whole egg. If you were doing all whole eggs, you would do about three to four, and if you were just doing egg whites, I would do about a cup. So get that into the pan. I season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're just gonna let those scramble up and then once you've got them nice and fluffy, just like this, get them out of the pan, and we're gonna add them back in at the end. Now, just a little FYI, I'm keeping it really simple and I'm just doing the eggs, but there's no reason you couldn't do some chicken or some fish or some tofu, in which case I would just season that up at the beginning, like we're doing now, get it into your pan, get it cooked up, pull it out, and then you would add that in the end when you add the eggs. And then once the eggs are out of the pan, I'm gonna add just one or two teaspoons of a toasted sesame oil. Now the sesame oil, all you need is a little bit, but it really does infuse a really nice, nutty, earthy flavor, and it gives you kind of that authentic fried rice flavor. So I highly recommend using it if you have it on hand. Then we've got a half of a chopped up onion, a couple cloves of chopped garlic, and a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger. Give that tiny pinch of salt, mix it together, and I'm just gonna let that saute for about two, three, four minutes until those onions are looking translucent and the pan is nice and fragrant. Now, what you're gonna need is about two cups of cauliflower rice, and all that is is a head of cauliflower that's been ground up to like a nice, chunky, sand-like texture, like a crumb. Now, you have a few options here. You can take a head of cauliflower, put it in the food processor, and pulse, pulse, pulse until you create that texture yourself. Very easy to do, but a little bit time consuming. Your second option, and the option that I'm going with today, is you can buy it store bought, where somebody already does it for you. And like I always say, it's time or money. You're either gonna spend a little extra money and save a little extra time, or you're gonna buy the whole cauliflower, save the money, a little extra time pulsing it up. And then of course, the third option is you can buy this frozen. And now the frozen, it's not my favorite for this recipe because the texture is a little bit mushier, but I always keep some in the freezer for a real pinch. So if that's what you have, definitely use it. It will get the job done. Once the onions and the garlic um, and the um, ginger are where you want them, into the pan goes the cauliflower rice. This is like two heaping cups. One and a half to two cups of mixed vegetables. I like the ones that have the green beans, and the lima beans, and the corn, and the carrots, but you can use whatever your favorite is. And then I've got three tablespoons of a low sodium soy sauce, or you could also do a tamari, or you could use what I'm using and do a um, coconut liquid aminos, which is basically all the same flavors as a soy sauce, but without the soy. So if you can't do soy, it's a great option. Mix that in there. And then from here, I'm just gonna let this go for about eight, 10, 12 minutes until that cauliflower rice is softened but still has like a good al dente bite to it and my vegetables are nice and bright and vibrant. Okay, so as you can see, my veggies are nice and vibrant and the cauliflower is almost slightly translucent. That's what you want and that's how you know when you're ready to go. So from here, I shut the pan off and then I'm gonna add my eggs back into the pan. And remember guys, if you wanted to make this chicken or beef or tofu, you could do all that and now is when you would add it back in and stir it in, okay? So get it in, break it up, mix it in. Just another FYI, like if you wanted more eggs or more egg whites, go for it. You could really make this recipe your own. Oh my God, look how beautiful 
this is. And this is really ready to go and it's delicious as is, but let's go over to the island and I'm gonna show you my favorite ways to top this dish, which elevates it, boom, right up to the next level. So let me show you how I love to finish this. I start with some fresh sliced scallions right over the top. They have this really mild oniony flavor to them and they're super fresh and crunchy and to me they just scream spring. Then I have some blistered peanuts, which are just like high roasted peanuts that are really crunchy and lightly salted. So that again adds another layer of flavor and more importantly texture. And then finally I have, and this is my secret ingredient, um, it's seaweed gomasio. Now if you're not familiar with it, basically it's a combination of um, whole sesame seeds, sea salt, and sea vegetables, which is organic dulce, nori, and kombu. And those are all like seaweed. So take a look at it here, you can see it here in my hand, and it has this very light, and the sesame seeds are toasted. They have the best flavor and texture to them. Um, and then that mixed with the sea salt and the seaweed is to die for. So I'll either sprinkle this over the top or I'll put it on the table for everybody to kind of do a DIY and serve themselves. But I'm telling you, it really does elevate the dish. And like everything, I will link to that down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. I usually buy mine at Whole Foods, but you could also get it online. So I'll link that up if you're curious. Now it's just time to test it out. Mmm. 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 Mm, this is everything you want your fried rice to be but better. It's really hard to tell that it's a bowl of cauliflower. Even my kids will eat this. I know it's hard to believe, but it really does a good job standing in for the rice. And you've got the crunch and the sesame seeds and the peanuts and the scallions with all the veggies and the egg whites. You guys have got to give this one a try. I'm, I'm really not a calorie counter, but I do think it's important to note that entire pan of food is under 400 calories. So if you are watching your carbs or trying to lighten up what you've been eating, or most importantly, just trying to eat more vegetables, you have got to give this recipe a try. It is a great dinner. It comes together in under 20 minutes, and I'm telling you, everybody will love it. So do me a favor, and when you give it a try, snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you are whipping up. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mm. So good.